Nearly two months after one of the country's deadliest school shootings, safety is still top of mind for students, parents, and educators. Added security and clear backpacks are now a part of life at Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. But that kind of fix isn't cutting it for many. Fox 4's Allison Harris is in Mansfield tonight, where the superintendent is looking for a better solution. Allison. Stephen Heather, one of the ideas that was discussed tonight is putting pepper spray in the classroom for the students if they need it. It is just one of the ideas that will be considered by a committee that will revise the district's safety plan. The day after the Parkland shooting, Mansfield ISD Superintendent Jim Vesuscus visited each of his campuses asking three questions. And we said, are you okay? Um, and then the second thing that we ask is, are you concerned about any kids like that? And then we ask, you know, are the doors locks working and are the panic buttons working? He had district police investigate each concern while he called a meeting with Mansfield High School students. 300 students attended. They wanted their colleagues and our teachers and our staff and everybody to take the lockdown drills more seriously. They wanted to practice in transition during a pep rally or at lunch. And then, uh, amazingly, they wanted the ability to fight back. They don't want to just hide and wait. Now he's hearing from parents. He hosted a Facebook Live Monday night. Tuesday, he led the same forum in person. We don't need to interfere with student learning. We want to maintain a safe, safe environment for them. Vasheska says a committee of students and staff will ultimately decide how to revise the district safety plan, which will be in place by the start of school next year. We talk about um, metal detectors, um, and so does that maybe keep something out of the building? Yes, but does it create a line of 200 kids waiting to go through, which if somebody wanted to do harm, there they are. And so we, we want to be real careful not to solve one problem and create something worse. And so I've tried to be very intentional and purposeful in these conversations. Um, and, and so we're gathering and, you know, we're going to let that committee vet it out. This superintendent even traveled to a school safety conference at which he spoke to the superintendent of the school district that has Sandy Hook Elementary School. They're hosting another one of these meetings next Thursday night.